Hello people of YouTube and welcome back to another video. I'm Chris. I mean the real deal. It has been quite a while since we've done a loading up video for you. Loading up usually takes place in the car. Well, we didn't quite think about it until we were already here back at the place. Right. And so what we're going to do, we're going to show you what we got today. So I guess it really doesn't matter where we show them as long as we show them. Right. So I'm going to start first. Uh, one of the first places we visited was Walmart. And I'm so glad I found this because I've only ever found this online for like 15 to 30 bucks. And I'm so glad I found this. This is uh, Del Toro's Pan's Labyrinth. I've been looking for a Blu-ray for this for a long time. And they're always too damn expensive. They're even 20 bucks in FYE. Picked it up today for 7 bucks. It is worth it. Alright. Uh, so, I also picked up something from Walmart. And, uh, which, however, I picked up a deck of cards but you know that's not really special it's just cards yeah it's just cards um you know buy them anyway but anyways uh what intrigued me uh and something that I actually can't wait to watch is the magnificent seven now you told me that supposedly this is like the original hateful eight um, yeah it's it's something that tarantino like talked about in Hateful Eight, you know, that's one right. of it, it's an inspiration. Right, so, yeah, it's an inspiration. I I won't, I would say I won't do a review on it, but this is something that I definitely will Yeah, watch. The Magnificent Seven, Cutthroat Nine, they were all big parts of the Hateful Eight, so. Uh, next we went to Ollie's. Uh, I was actually going to pick up a Jackass box set there, but I realized that I don't really watch shows that much. It would probably sell my shelf and never get watched. But as we were leaving, I seen these two movies. I uh, I seen the UFC Ultimate uh, Hoist Gracie uh, DVD. It has a documentary on here about Hoist Gracie. It's an amazing fighter, and it has uh, his earliest matches. I can't wait to watch this whole thing because I'm a big Hoist Gracie fan. Uh, second movie I was looking for the entire time we were there, and I couldn't find the damn thing. And then as we were leaving, I found this one copy sitting on the bottom shelf between some other crap no one cares about. Uh, the only reason I bought this is because I've heard pretty good things about it on all the horror websites and from different people. And it's $20 online, and I always refuse to, first of all, pay 20 bucks for a DVD. <laughs> uh, but to pay 20 bucks for something I haven't really watched, and I know I will probably not like... Well, I just so happened to find it, Dead Girl, on um, DVD up there at Ollie's for exactly two bucks. It's certainly a better deal than tw fucking twenty. So if it's bad, then all I did was waste two bucks. All right. All right. So basically, what I got from Ollie's, um, I I basically just got books because the, in terms of DVDs and all that, it didn't really interest interest me necessarily. Uh, so, like I said, went with books. Uh, the first book I got, which is pretty handy because I'm starting to, um, do kind of like, uh, repairs and stuff like that, or trying to learn how to at least. So I bought this, uh, DIY, um, do-it-yourself, uh, uh, 100 repair book, and I uh, got it for a pretty cheap price. It was only four bucks, which was not bad. Uh, let me interrupt you real quick. Uh, this is a... Uh, direct uh, yell out to Walmart stop putting fucking stickers on the case under the plastic which you could have put it on are you fucking serious now I have to peel this bitch off and it will probably leave fucking goo and half a sticker on here thanks assholes plastic put it on here besides I don't care about your digital HD ultraviolet shit I'm not going to use anyway you continue Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, anyways, so uh, ne next. You're lucky. You are lucky. <laughs> that it was an actually really easy sticker. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, guys. So the the next book that I got from Ollie's is a it basically how to cook everything, and it's a big giant. Gigantic. Well, you can see how big this is. It's big. Uh, and in comparison to the, the, the repair book. But, uh, yeah, this is, this basically shows, like, 
almost every single recipe in existence, I guess. I, I mean, I highly doubt it, but um, one thing I like to do is uh, try to, you know, cook uh, different things. And uh, uh, this is something that I'm definitely going to read and try to pick up some of the ingredients to, you know, kind of try these things. And, uh, yeah, and also this was uh, not bad price, which uh, I did not pay that. Uh, twenty-two dollars. I paid actually seven bucks for this, uh, big buck. So that that's a hell of a deal. And as for the last, uh, book that I got, well, it's not really a book. It's more of a strategy guide. Um. And uh, what originally is like, I guess fifty bucks, is the GTA Five, um, Brady games strategy guide for uh, the next-gen consoles and uh, th this was a shocker to me that I found this oh okay uh, sorry it's like a like a thirty dollar book sorry but uh, still nonetheless I, I paid a hell of a good deal with uh, for this it was only four bucks and like I said it was a shocker to me that I just so happened to find this out of the blue so but I definitely got me one uh, might read it through it, uh, and, uh, see if I missed anything on GTA. So. Uh, it's been another loading up. Peace out. Peace. No, sorry. Peace. <laughs>